Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy your Christmas. Hope you enjoy your holidays. Kila kitu yuko sawa. I hope God has uh, kept you well. And um I'm also quite happy. I'm quite thankful because this is our second video and I first want to thank everybody who watched our first video where we drove a we drove a Jeep Renegade from Dubai all the way down to Abu Dhabi. And I'm quite thankful because uh, most of the positive actually 99% of the feedback was very positive and I'm so flattered to know that you guys missed me. <laughs> I never thought you guys really loved me that much. I'm really really flattered and I don't take it for granted. So here we are again. Uh, this is our second video and for this particular video I want us to sample a vehicle that is not very common on Kenyan roads. I'm talking about the 2014 Jaguar XJ. And the reason I've decided to do a video on the XJ is, as I've said earlier, it's not quite common on Kenyan roads. I happen to have one uh, at my new showroom along Kiambu Road, Kai and Carol Limited. And this particular XJ is quite intriguing because the XJ uh, competes directly with vehicles like the S-Class and vehicles like the 7 Series. But if you were to drive, randomly drive ar uh, around Nairobi, you're probably not going to spot a lot of Jaguar XJs, but you might probably see a lot of BMW 7 Series. You will see a lot of uh, Mercedes S-Class, maybe one or two Audi A8s, but the XJ is quite rare. And this makes it a perfect specimen uh, for us to sample as we do today, uh, this week's version of the road trip. And we will be driving down to Magadi. But before I delve into the road trip uh, video, I want to talk about today's uh, sponsor. Over 50% of you guys watching this particular video are probably doing so on one of these devices. Of course, I'm talking about a mobile phone. Nowadays, they dictate uh, how we live, how we interact, and you know, they've become a getaway of sorts for criminals because we trust mobile phones with so much of our information. And this is where today's sponsor of this video comes in. Norton Mobile Security. This particular software protects your mobile phone from such a wide variety of risks. I'm talking about someone going through your WhatsApp. It could be in some cases um, visiting a shady website. Other times it could be that um, you've installed an app on the App Store that is trying to get your data illegally. And in some cases you could be sitting at a public cafe in town and someone hacks through your phone through one of those public networks. These are some of the risks that this software protects your phone against. It sounds like a very good deal, but what is the cost of this app? Is it going to cost me my entire savings? No. This app is only going for Kenya shillings, 350. Head over to the norton.co.ke. I'm going to put the link on the screen right now. Uh, you're actually able to pay through M-Pesa, so you don't even need a credit card. You're just going to register, put your email, put your M-Pesa number there, and you're going to get a link either via email or via SMS with instructions on how you can download the software. By the way, if you go to the Play Store and check how much Norton is selling the same product, it's around Kenya shilling 1600. So by just heading to norton.co.ke, you get a very marvelous discount. So I hope you guys are going to download that software and protect your devices. So let's dive back into the video. By the way, before we like um, talk about the route from uh, my place all the way down to Magadi, it's quite good to note that uh, Jaguar is no longer producing the XJ. I'm just reading through that article and um, it says, following other technological review against exponential change in the automotive industry, we concluded that the planned Jaguar XJ replacement does not fit with our vision for a reimagined brand. So basically what these white guys were saying is that um, based on the sort of vision they have for the Jaguar brand, the XJ does not fit in line with that. From a businessman's perspective, I think the Jaguar XJ did not make a lot of money because the S-Class is still in production, the 7 Series is still in production. So, or maybe they just want to focus on electric vehicles. But anyway, it's quite sad because the Jaguar XJ has had a long run from 1968 all the way to 2019. Those are quite a number of years. But anyway, there's nothing much you can say. But let's talk about the root. Lake Magadi's uh, primary claim to fame is a chemical called uh, sodium carbonate. And um, I think I've rushed through that. So the primary claim to fame for Magadi town is Lake Magadi. Lake Magadi is important to Magadi town because it's where they mine that chemical called trona. Trona, uh, once trona is mined, they use the uh, trona to produce sodium carbonate. 
chemical uh, uh, chemistry gurus you can correct me in the comments if i'm wrong because i was never good at chemistry by the way but anyway that's basically the whole that whole town uh, owes its existence to that lake and if that factory was to close down i probably don't think anybody would live in that town it's quite it's quite a small community and everybody and everything revolves around the lake the uh, the area around uh, lake magadi is in is inhabited by the maasai community and it's quite it's a very open and a large stretch of land without any major towns so let me just give you the route briefing the distance from uh, nairobi or uh, lavington to magadi is approximately uh, just open my google maps let me just recap is around 109 kilometers to be very precise and the route is quite simple we are going to join ngong road via kingara road and then from uh, ngong road we'll drive towards ngong but uh, slightly before karen we'll join the southern bypass towards the langata direction drive uh, for a few kilometers on the southern bypass up to the langata road interchange exit from the southern bypass join the langata join langata road towards galeria galeria is a mall and um, at galeria mall we are going to make a left onto magadi road so for those who are conversant with the geography of nairobi uh, magadi road is the road that uh, takes you to rongai and uh, a lot of guys probably don't know this but if you follow magadi road straight on without branching anywhere it also takes you to magadi town where the tarmac terminates so very simple route not very complicated but i hope you guys are going to enjoy and we're going to learn a lot as we embark on this trip so thanks in advance for watching So um as I, as I had said earlier we are going to be departing from uh, my neighborhood via Ngong Road. So from Ngong Road we are going to join the Southern Bypass and then um we are going to branch out from the Southern Bypass at the Langata interchange at the Langata Road and the Southern Bypass interchange proceed onwards until um uh, Galeria and then at Galeria we are going to take a left onto Magadi Road. So straight onwards to Magadi Road until we get to Magadi. We are making a late departure. It's around uh, 3 p.m. I ho I honestly hope that we're going to make it to Magadi on time. And um, I'm quite excited. Just have a look at this uh, big car. It's quite huge. Two sunroofs. Carol, do you like this car? Love it. <laughs> Love it. I'm actually becoming a stressed Love man because uh, Carol is really insisting <laughs> on me getting a Jaguar XJ. But I'm not really a Jaguar fanboy, but... You know these ladies have a way of convincing someone to do some pretty crazy things. So let me depart. And uh, but before we depart, I'm just going to show you a quick tour of how the cabin layout looks. So now, um, this car only has uh, two errors at the moment. There's a there's a okay. There are three errors actually. There's a low fuel indication. There's a smart key battery low. That's the battery on the key fob. And there's a coolant level low. Now the coolant level low uh, error is actually not very accurate because I'm suspecting we have a faulty reservoir tank. There's normally a sensor in the reservoir tank that uh, is able to read the level of the coolant in the vehicle. And on this particular vehicle, that uh, reservoir tank seems to have a problem with that sensor. Quite a common problem on Audis. I've also seen this same issue on the Jaguar XF. So with that knowledge in mind, I don't think uh, that should give us any problem. So as we depart, I'm also going to stop at a petrol station and just uh, top up a bit of fuel. Ile karata sili kwa pick up? Oh, sir, no problem. So, so anyway, let me start with a quick uh, interior tour. So on this side, you have a lot of wood. Clearly, uh, it's labeled Meridian. Meridian is the sound system on the Jaguar XJ. Quite a premium sound system if you ask me if you look at the side mirrors closely you'll notice uh, a number indication that means that the blind spot system uh, is working i've explained the blind spot system before it kind of scans the road on the rear section for any approaching traffic and um too much wood on this vehicle too much wood on this vehicle gives it that pimpish vibe that old money vibe the steering wheel is huge has that uh, jaguar logo over here just to remind you what you're driving you have the steering controls button here the steering is heated this button over here controls the steering wheel heating function and you have the multifunctional uh, controls for the radio and the interface now something interesting the cockpit of the jaguar xf is actually a is a digital cluster let me just demonstrate that when i switch the vehicle off notice it goes off completely this one goes off this one goes off so this is a digital display notice what happens when i uh, ignite the vehicle it comes on like a screen 
So I find these uh, clusters to be quite interesting because, you know, they get more functionality due to that digital aspect. Like, for instance, once I press the OK button, I'm able to access, uh, I should be accessing more functions on this particular cluster, yes. Once I press the OK button, we get the rev meter on this particular side. Uh, the comfort features of the Jaguar XF are mostly centered on these, uh, oh, sorry, the comfort settings are mostly centered on this section. So you have the seat... Uh, warming and seat cooling function and um, you're also able to heat and cool the rear seats which is not a very common feature on a lot of these cars you have the driver sorry you have the gear shift over here so you basically spin it like this to engage parking reverse neutral drive or spot uh, you have the ac functions over here there is a menu button over here that takes you to the home menu so you have navigation you have audio climate which is basically the ac rare climate for the big boss who sits at the back and um what else am i forgetting there's another there's another compartment over here i have my phone charge over here there's a usb slot and there's an aux uh, for your music something cool carol really, really loves this feature so this is a uh, it's called the glove compartment but you don't need to touch anything it just detects it kind of detects the presence of your finger when you do this and it opens pretty cool if you ask me and there's a nice uh, analog watch that gives the vehicle a touch of class plus these nice retro style um, ac vents two sunroofs which are controlled from this section over here and um, let me just yeah you can close them or open them there's a way you open in this sunroof here and it can also slide backwards if you want it completely open and um, i think with that we are good to go I don't know. I don't know honestly why we have so much heavy traffic on a Sunday. Like, I met a guy like ten minutes ago, and I'm going up parking area road trying to join Gong Road. Oh, finally, we found Guka. Let's go. Have you ever been to Magadi? Yeah. It's a school trip, sir. Hey, Glenda school trip. Come on, your story. Yeah. Glenda. Glenda, my little girl story. Glenda school trip. Oh, na joke. Ni ni ni. Asan kung sa sali like ni 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 umay niyo. Si Ezi kung buka ni 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 si buko na kung kanu siya na magadi. Like ni 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 umay niyo. Feel kung yung magic tuyo. On that side, we have uh, Africa's largest uh, slum, one of Africa's largest slums. I don't want to say Africa's largest slum, but that is uh, Kibera. I should take you on a tour of that place. Eh? Very nice, very friendly people. Don't know to avoid girls for comments. Unaribia, the Moy Girls High School. Nah, Kibera. But let me tell you, I actually fear Kayole more than I, I fear Kibera. Kibera is easy. But in Kayole, eh, hey, Nadandora. Ah. I just joined uh, Langata Road from the Southern Bypass. Now we're going to drive uh, all the way up to, what is this place called, uh, Galeria. Galeria Mall, and then um, once we get to Galeria, we'll uh, take Magadi Road and uh, basically proceed straight along Magadi Road past Rongai, Kiserian, Ivo Ivo. The farthest I've gone on that road is slightly past Kiserian, where there's a diversion that takes you to towards the Kajiado direction. Just going past Langata Barracks, this side you have uh, Langata Estate. And um, yeah, this is very beautiful Sunday. I'm just hoping you don't get that, but that bad Rongai traffic. Mainly traffic here Rongai. 
Rongai traffic is just something else. And um, the most tragic thing about Rongai is that they never expand that road. Magadi Road is such a narrow road and given uh, the number of guys who live in Rongai and maybe work there, I mean, these guys deserve a dual carriage. The dual carriage ends at Galeria. So from uh, Galeria all the way up to Rongai, a very small narrow road. Project copy say. Wewe. Wacha ku confuse. Eh? Rongai. suburbs of. Wewe wacha ujinga. Wacha ku confuse Rongai. Rongai and Karen two very different places. This side Nairobi National Park. This is Nairobi National Park. Stretches all the way from Langata all the way to Rongai and all the way up to Kitengela. Quite huge, eh? On this side you have Karen. This is not just any other neighborhood. This is Karen. Okay. You don't. Uh, it is. It is a crime to call Karen Rongai, and it is a. It is a crime to associate Rongai with Karen. Okay. <laughs> no, but they are very serious. This is. This is like Karen, and then this is like Ronga. La, yeah. Ah, sorry. This is up in Nairobi National Park on this side, eh? And this is like Karen. So between Langata, between Galeria and. Um, and Rongai, there's like a stretch, a no man's land, that separates uh, the rest of Kenya and Rongai. So this is Karen, and this is the National Park. You people say Rongai is not part of Kenya. It's <laughs> but, but 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 he is the he is the interesting bit actually. Rongai, Rongai is not far. Ni traffic ina fanya Rongai kuka inikani mbali. There's so much traffic that you end up thinking that Rongai is so far, but it's not far. It's actually not very far. Because once we finish that hill, eh? We will start seeing Rongai. Actually, let me just wait for it. And my daughter, behold the city of Rongai. Let me just try and overtake this guy. Just hold on. Why is this Rafa guy ruining my moment? And behold the promised the land. Reveal. The grand reveal. Rongai. <laughs> just look at it. Just look at it. Let me let me get close like this so that guys are able to see. So that's Ronga in the in the background look of. It's a very hot day, and then um, by the seat, uh, the seat cooling function, by the way, na na side yanga sana, it really helps when you're driving a vehicle on a sunny day, especially this car that doesn't have any tint. When I scare, you feeling the? You have a sunscreen choice. No, I'm saying the. I'm talking about the sunscreen. I'm talking about the like the seats. Are, are the seats cooling? Yes. Ah uh, yeah. Rongai is famous for a lot of things. Number one, it's the traffic. Rongai has shitty traffic, as I said. Second thing Rongai is famous for are the very nice matatus. Rongai has some of the best matatus in Kenya. I know that might sound controversial. Uh, Umoja people are going to get angry. But, um, and also Ngong Road people, but, uh, and Kasarani, um, wede Umoina. Matgeni wangakali Nairobi wede Umoina. Wede, okay, you're solid in Ngumu. Jupia, mi muo nangaza kasas kika dope. Kasarani na Umoja. But anyway, uh, that's what Ronga is famous for. Surprisingly, Ronga is not very far from Nairobi, but because of the traffic, people think it's very far, like I said earlier. And um, a lot of guys like this neighborhood because the rents tend to be cheap. The houses are quite large. Very, very nice place to live, by the way, if you ask me. If you don't mind the traffic. No, I mean, okay. Okay. Okay, the, the rents are affordable. But, but if, if something is affordable, it means it's not expensive. Mm, yeah, hold on, hold on. It's not expensive, right? Yes. What's the opposite of expensive? <laughs> no, question. What's the opposite of expensive? And yeah, you can never win an argument with a woman, but it's cheap. I guess I want that one. Eh? <laughs> no, no, cheap. Cheap, cheap is a very 
in your word D- ni derogatory it's derogatory, derogatory. Yeah. It's, so it sounds very it's bad you don't see chip. okay so i'm Unaweza nipigania venye Karen Yemo anapigania nani? Samido. Lex like, Lizzie I'm just asking. Like would you? I just fucked up. Let 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 trip. My god. You're trying to loading process by the way. You're trying to think of an answer. And we have gotten to Kisarian, which I think should be the last major town until we get to to place Naitoje, until we get to Magadi. So um, I'm also dangerously low on fuel. There is literally nothing on the range. I kind of forget. I kind of forgot to top up. So I'm just going to look for a shell uh, or a total somewhere here and then uh, top up. So Magadi straight on the C58. If you take this uh, road on the right over here. It takes you back to Ngong town. So I don't want to risk with the fuel, so I'm just going to use this petrol station, but it looks quite crowded. <laughs> driving the Jaguar XJ is like uh, driving a huge boat. It's quite huge, quite long. Very hard to maneuver at times, but very comfortable. You have to give it that extremely comfortable vehicle. But if you had parking cars or just driving something that feels bulky, this is not the car for you. But you like it? You're a bad driver. Can you like drive this one? Will you still too keep long. it? It's too long. Too long, eh? But I, I love it. it. Gives me that sponsor vibe. But anyway, uh, this engine is a 2000cc turbocharged engine paired to an 8-speed ZF gearbox, which is a killer combination. The this two liter makes around uh, sh- should be around 240 HP, but I'm going to confirm, and it doesn't feel underpowered in any way. That's the beauty about technology. Niaje, utaniyekea petrol ya mia elfunne. Eh, 4000 petrol. I was saying, um, where were we? I was talking about the performance. I was saying the engine is quite small because uh, technology is, up, is evolving uh, rapidly. You don't really need a 3000cc or a 5000cc to generate enough power to power such a huge vehicle. So the 2000cc is of course turbocharged, makes enough power and I found it to be quite uh, smooth and I don't have any complaints so far. A few moments ago we just passed a Kisarian and everything simply changed. <laughs> we are getting some crazy views, very crazy views. But I'm not really liking the condition of this road. It's quite narrow. Let me just adjust my camera. It's quite narrow and uh, hilly, uneven. And um, But look at those views. Killer views. The Ngong Hills are somewhere on this side. The interesting bit is, I've actually been to Magadi, but I flew there as part of my uh, school training at Flight Star Academy, but I've never really driven to Magadi, and it feels more intimate to actually drive along this road. 
but it's very narrow. Government, simfanya ile kitu bana, eh hey, barabara, eh hey, sirkal. Ni mno jo vetu na wapenda. Tengeneze ni barabara wenye mmetengeneza hizo zingine ya Kenya. What do you like about the views? Crazy, yeah. Mobius, wow that's a Mobius yeah. Eh jua. Na bado magadi unonanga ni kama jua iko hapa. Hey, it gets very 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 hot. There's a guy carrying uh, hay on top of a spatio. Nye no wonder Kenyans wana semanga Toyota is reliable. Just look at that Toyota. This this road is actually so narrow. Adi ku overtake ni like adi na ogopa ku overtake. Let me try. It's very 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 narrow. Hey, and the jago is quite wide, eh? But very beautiful views flash this guy. Goja, kama kuna hotel wapi? Magadi. Yeah, it looks quite deserted. But you know most of Kenya looks like this. Anything past uh, Nanyuki kwa ndoko juu, there's literally nothing. It's quite hot. And the AC on this vehicle is not working very well. That road is too narrow. Wow, it's too 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 narrow. And very scary, very uneven. Seems like someone tried to recap it, but they did a very bad job. But those are some nice killer views. Civilization, quick mat, total, shell, cool kids. And then four minutes past passing uh, Kisarian, boom, crusades are Masai and Mountain Lake. It's, it's just crazy. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but I'm loving the Jaguar. It's very comfortable. Notice like a ski, we don't really feel the road. Suspension is very, very quiet. I'm assuming it should be air suspension. I'm not very sure, but. I'm probably thinking it should be air suspension. I've seen a rumor somewhere that this road is not owned by the government and is actually owned by the the company that mines uh, soda ash in uh, Magadi. Is it soda ash? I mean, it was. I don't know what's mined in Magadi. I'm forgetting. But uh, that one, that thing, that's that Magadi thing. So I don't know. Maybe that would explain why the road is so narrow because it's not really meant to serve a lot of people. I don't really understand, but. Someone in the comments section should actually try and explain why this road is this narrow because I've never really driven on such a narrow road and we still have like another 50 kilometers or so to go. Light skin. Nachome kana jua. Tabidi umekua rangi ya Kenya bana. Let me it down a few moments ago. Uh, currently estimating uh, time to Magadi, approximately 50 minutes or so. I'm still complaining about the road, but ni meshazo here. I'm having to battle with the uh, pro boxes. They're the ones that seem to carry passengers in this area. But so far so good. Very nice scenery. I'm really enjoying it, and um, I'm actually just impressed at, at how beautiful and uh, magical Kenya is. If you are a foreign tourist watching uh, this vlog, please take your time to visit Kenya. There's, there's so much you can do. We've not even gone to the Mara yet, but um, as part of our content on this channel, we'll also be doing a couple of aircraft reviews. And um, 
In that case, I think we'll be doing a lot of flights to places like uh, the Mara or maybe places like Lamu. So make sure you subscribe while you're at it. If I gave you like a thousand acres of land and, um, and a helicopter, would you live here? Helicopter. Okay. No, helicopter. A lot of plus uh, closet, Mzime uh, Mejavia, two wigs, like all the nice stuff, all the nice things you like. What is the issue? If we add the wigs and then. Yes, it's like, let me have a look at it. Nice, nice mountain. We come and hike. Like you know, when you're going to go and visit, but then it's it, it's actually so deserted. I'm thinking that there's so much wildlife in this area. <laughs> and there's a deep gorge or something like a dry river or I don't know. It's actually a dry river eh? and a very huge mountain lake i'm just assuming if these guys were to develop this road and probably the county government of kajiado spends a bit more on marketing this is a very good place for setting up a resort you know a retreat a super high-end retreat because because come to think about it magad is not too far off from nairobi um we've done like probably a hundred or something kilo kilometers it's not very far but the fact that um a lot of people don't even know about this place. It's actually shocking. I personally discovered my guardi uh, when I was doing my flying lessons, not because I actually came to visit this place. And I noted that a lot of flight schools in Wilson normally uh, do a lot of training exercises in this airstrip that's at Magadi town. I don't know which town we are at. Let me just check. Kuna Saningo stores. Uku, by the way, was saying Uku kuna ma pro box. Wezi kosa pro box. All these small towns, wezi kosa pro box. Crazy, eh? Mwanya family investments. Black Bondo. Black Bondo. Hey, hey, Black, uh, Black Bondo is a legend, man. Big up that guy over there. Hey, Black Bondo. That's one of the best pro boxes I've actually seen. Ah, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. We're almost getting close to our destination. Carol, what do you think about the Jaguar XF? Ah, sorry, the Jaguar XJ. I keep confusing the two. The best feature is this. Like of all the nice things in this car, that's what you found to be yeah, so appealing. Just this. Not there's, I, you know, I thought you were going to say something about the performance, the cool seats. Mm -hmm. You just like that. No. She's a very interesting lady to please. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but so far, this is what I mostly love about the Jaguar XF. Ah, sorry, the Jaguar XJ. I keep confusing these two cars. I think I love the fact that it's not very common. I, you could probably go for a whole year without seeing an XJ. If you compare it with a competition like the, what's this car called? Uh, the, the Mercedes S-Class, the, the BMW 7 Series, they tend to be more of the, more common. But the Jaguar XJ is a bit exclusive, which I think just adds to that whole vibe of it being a nice car. It's quite rare, not very common, you know. I think I'm one of those guys who doesn't like uh, driving a Kenya uniform car. Like in exclusive Q5 pay me Q5 me kwa common. Like in it's an excellent car. No, but the XF is a smaller vehicle, so it kind of gets a bit of uh, not too many specs. I'm assuming if we go past those mountains, na fa kuatuki ona magadi mali apa. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lo and behold, I present to you Lake Magadi. <laughs> you know, let me let me tell you the most tragic thing about this lake. It's so full of that uh, soda ash thing eh, that it can't support many forms of life. So uh, I don't think this lake has any fish. No fish. fish. Like there's literally no fish. Now the tragic part about it is uh, just look at the surrounding areas, look at how dry it is. 
and like they can't probably use that water to even irrigate their farms or anything so this like kind of it mostly benefits the local community through through the factory that does that uh, mining of the it's called lot of the soda ash thing was it flospa minding karyandusi my GHC, bro, my GHC is this. Don't joke with my GHC. Yeah, it's cool, guys. Me and we go for kayak. Carol, uh, what do you think about this road trip? Have you enjoyed it? So you'd have preferred uh, maybe Diani or Vasha. Vasha or Magadi, choose one. Wow. Yani mimi ni jitole viviote. I drive, I fuel, I carry all these cameras, and then you're like. You'd have preferred Vasha. Everybody goes to Vasha. Like very few people actually come to Magadi. But there's nothing to see in Magadi. No, there's all this nice scenery. There's a nice road. There's that nice lake we've seen, and that's all. All, all you actually have to say. You know, you've actually hurt my feelings. <laughs> anyway, Kenya, yeah. Tembea Kenya, it is. So let me just get to the factory. I think it's actually too late. Probably these guys are closed. But let's get to Magadi town, probably have a meal, and then we shoot back to Nairobi. So, uh, there's that, yes, Magadi, finally, wow, it's very hot. That is 6 degrees, and it's 6.30 in the evening. This is crazy. But geez, oh, people of Magadi, or oh, government of Kenya, please fix this road. It's too narrow, Bana. I can't even speed. But I really enjoyed, I've really enjoyed uh, driving the Jaguar XJ. Solid car, super comfortable, and um... The small things like the okay. Niyaze. Niko poa. Oh. Eh? Nito guide apa. Tembeza wageni. Oh. Sisi ndo magaidi akutembeza wageni apa. Ah okay. Nini ndo kutembeza? Aha. Hot spring. Okay. Ah. Ah. Niko na ngurumani. Oh. Yeah. Viewpoint. Viewpoint na Pink Lake. Oh, like in a rat, Kaido Ragatu, Kala, Kata, ten minutes, twenty minutes, and twenty years. Oh, okay. Uh, Sina Tunafka to Pale to be a picture, Sina, the bigger picture, a new inside your community. Eh, oh, Nino Naman, the community side. Sasa, Sasa, Pale, eh, Connelia charges your community. Aina Shida will pay. Love Salipa, okay. Aina Shida, what we do, Kuna place Nezapata, a nice view of the lake. Yes, we can also, eh, bro. Eh? Uh -huh. Kwa hivi. Sina na 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 eh. Sasa we are guides. Oh. Sasa kifika pale. Alafu hivi. Eh. You follow this bike. Vile nilikuwa nakuambia kwa light. Oh, okay. Eh. Twende kwa view. Okay. Sawa. Sawa. Then springs. Okay. You lipe baadaye. Sawa, haina shida. Let's go then. Haya. Sasa tuharakishe masani mbaya. Eh. Aha. Ah. Twende acha usimpe watu ndani. Eh. Eh. Ama naweza Ah, so, so. Okay. so fanya hivi boss uh -huh. you have to go siya sa kwa na mende kwa sali kwa na siwa zuri kwa na kwa na kwa na kwa na kwa na kwa na Okay, it's <laughs> confusing kidogo. But anyway, well, I'm going to kill you. 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 I think this is uh, man. This is this are Masai Morans, man. I'm actually scared, baby. Hey, hey, man, I'm like, hey, this guy. Who is that? Is a Kasirika and his peer, man. It's crazy. But anyway, um, let let me let me follow these con men. You know, the other guy says these guys were con men, so I'm like, let me just follow these con men and uh, see what happens. And notice, notice these guys are armed. These are the Masai community. They are allowed to carry firearms and stuff. So we've gotten to Magadi town. It's a very very beautiful. This, this view is amazing, eh? See, let me just park the Jaguar here, then. Eh, uh, watcha, watcha, watcha ni pige picha hapa. This place ni asoda ashwe. Eh. Wow. Shule ulichoma. Ah, where shule ulichoma. Eh, fi ilienda yo. It's actually beautiful. Yeah. 
Carol, uh, please say that again. It was what? <laughs> it was? It was worth it. it wow. You, you, <laughs> Let me check it out and get my drone. Bro, eh? Hey. Okay, sir, sir. I will show you. Ah, sir, no problem. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, sir, I will show you. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. This is what you are doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are Ah. You want a drone with a flamingos or? Ah, apana, Nikona, I have a camera. Let me just. Uh. 